I'm going to make a video. I've got some good advice if you guys watch the stock markets and see what's going on with Putin's war with Russia and Ukraine. Uh, Biden and the Western world and Canada, you know, banned buying steel and aluminum and iron and platinum and palladium and potash and all kinds of things from Russia. Well, because of that, I decided to go to my local scrapyard and start to look up prices. Car bodies complete, $380 a ton. That's way up. Uh, appliances, $300 a ton. Uh, sheet metal, $505 a ton. Just like roofing and barn steel. That's ridiculous. Just regular steel, $425 a ton. $520 a ton for brake rotors and brake drums. Oh my god. Just dirty engine blocks all put together with all the parts on them. $505 a ton. Now let's uh, click on some other things. Let's see, I guess we'll go for aluminum. Oh no, stainless steel. Stainless steel has doubled. The dollar thirty a pound, dollar twenty a pound. Three hundred four is a non-magnetic type. That's the best type. I remember just in the fall it was fifty-two cents a pound here. Aluminum has also gone way up. Copper and brass haven't gone up much because Russia doesn't ship much of that stuff, but they ship a lot of aluminum and sell it. So car rims, dollar seventy a pound. Truck rims, a dollar fifty a pound. Extruded aluminum. 205 a pound if it's painted two dollars a pound cast aluminum 80 cents a pound ridiculous prices right tony now catalytic converters contain platinum and palladium like i just mentioned that's another rare earth metal that's really hard to get and worth more than gold and russia sells a lot of that and most of the world isn't buying that either so those prices went up and that's what's in catalytic converters so if you've got some not stolen Kelly converters on your scrap cars or whatever, maybe check around where you can sell them to. Because before the prices went up like this, just for a regular old caravan, I was getting $300 from private buyers for catalytic converters like that. And for foreign cars, over $400. And they would come to my house and pick them up. So shop around. Just don't go to your local scrapyard to get prices for catalytic converters. Look for private buyers you might get a lot more money. Now, one funny question at the end of this. Now that I'm not, not used to using YouTube for 10 years, don't, doesn't YouTube have a page anymore for where people send each other messages privately? Just curious. I haven't been able to find it. See you later. It's uh, awful cold still here in Canada. This is uh, March 11th, 2022 slightly snowing. I've got piles of snow in my backyard. Yeah, nothing's happening at the farm for a while. It's just mud and snow up there too, but soon enough when the weather gets better and things dry up, I'll make an update. Nice to see all you guys again. I remember most of you. Thanks a lot for watching.